we're here at the Huawei stand at Mobile World Congress and I'm joined by Ken Hu, rotating CEO of Huawei. So, Ken, thank you for joining us. Um, some industry players are saying that 5G is already here. Is it just hype? What can we expect from 5G in 2018? 5G is uh, coming to us uh, quickly and um, we anticipate that 2018 will be the first year for the commercial deployment of the 5G because the market is getting ready very, very fast. So firstly, the standard is ready. We all know that the 3GPP release 15 is ready to go in this drone, and this is a big step forward. So secondly, the demand is ready, because we all know that in some of the market, subscribers are consuming more than 70 gig uh, data per month. And the, the video traffic is growing so fast and the industrial applications are on the rise. For example, the IoT is getting bigger and bigger every day. From our trial around the world with our customer, we observed that the 5G solution can greatly help the carriers to enhance the spectrum efficiency for five times. And it can also help the carriers to boost the network capacity for 24 folks. Looking forward, the 5G solution will also give the carriers access to the different industrial applications. So this will help the whole industry to build a very solid business case on their investment on 5G. And the last is the technology. The technology is ready as well. For example, this year, Huawei brings our end-to-end -end 5G solution to Barcelona. So generally speaking, standards aside, uh, demand is real and the technology is available. So we're ready to go on 5G. You say the technology is ready. What progress has Huawei made in this area? Yeah, we do have some progress to share. So in this year, we bring our end-to-end -end solution of 5G to Barcelona. And this is the industry's first complete line of products on 5G, including the core, the transport, the video, uh, the, the wireless access, and particularly the terminal. We launched the industry's first ready-to-market 5G devices, the CPE, uh, in this show in Barcelona. In next year, we're going to launch our smartphone with the 5G technology. So uh, Huawei began working on the 5G around 10 years ago. We've spent around 600 million US dollars on research of the 5G technology. And in this year, we're going to spend another 800 million on the development of the products and solutions. What kind of network performance improvements have you achieved so far? Yeah, we're working on various pre-commercial projects with the continuous coverage in different big cities, including Milan, Tokyo, London, Seoul, and Vancouver. And the results are just uh, incredible. So for example, in Seoul, we provide gigabit download speed uh, through the entire pilot area. That means the consumer can enjoy the high speed access at any time, anywhere in the region. So that's just amazing. And in Vancouver, we provide the two gigger per second speed for the household. And this is just as fast as the fiber. You can call that as the fiber from the sky. How can telcos realize the full potential of 5G? I think firstly, the telcos can consider to get their network ready for the 5G technology. I believe that the telcos can stay competitive and to better uh, meet the faster growing demands from consumer in terms of the data traffic and always believe that a stronger network capacity can bring greater opportunity. And secondly, the 5G will be the joint effort through different stakeholders. So the telcos can try to get the vertical industries involved. So, because we believe that the 5G could be a cornerstone for the industrial uh, revolution across the world and it could be an enabler for the digital transformation in the different vertical industries. So we need to get the vertical industries involved and let them understand what 5G can do for their business the digital transformation. That also means a new growth uh, of the revenue for the telco carriers. So for that purpose, Huawei has built the X Lab and the Open Lab as an open platform 
for the carriers and the vertical players to work together to figure out the demand, to develop the business, and to trial the technological solution. And we also encourage that all the carriers and the vendors and all stakeholders can better engage with each other in organization like the 5G AA and also the alliance, which was just announced by uh, GSMA this time, the 5G slicing uh, alignment. So we believe that for 5G, there is a massive potential out there. If we want to tap it, we need to act now and act together. It's been very interesting. So thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, Steve.